So this one here is from Mysterious Archer 7071. Um, let me get another drink here. Oh, and he got a picture. I'm so ready. Let me um, turn my fan back on. There we go. I need the error. So I just bought a new PC, but while playing games, it keeps on crashing. The computer screen freezes and more often than not, it completely shuts down and restarts. I don't know why. The only hunch I've seen is the temperatures I can see while using a hardware monitor, AUX10 and TM pin is around 100 to 120 degrees Celsius. Oh my God. Um, that's hot. That's pretty, that's pretty hot. Um, it's around 100 to 120 degrees Celsius. I don't know what these two things are, but that's my only hunch. Um, in this particular situation, we'd be looking at the stock CPU cooler. What you can do is download Core Tip or MSI Afterburner to get an idea of your CPU and GPU temps while playing games. Um, star equals priority. So yeah, install MSI Afterburner first. If the CPU is over 90 degrees Celsius while gaming, you may need to upgrade the cooler to, or reapply the thermal paste. It barely goes over 60 degrees Celsius, but computer is still crashing. Okay, well, there's 10 other people. Let me see what, if he's replied to anyone else. Uh, when I run OCCT, it shows errors like the CPU minus one found on physical core. That's not good. Yeah, CPU fault. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm glad we actually did that this time. So this is Mysterious Archer, right? It's not the previous cable management. The PSU is not modular. The cables seem to be screwed or, or twisted. My exhaust is barely warm. I really got no clue now. Uh, it barely goes over 60 degrees. I saw your post about, about the CPU minus one error on the physical core i would say this sounds like a cpu fault you may learn more <laughs> why do i I gotta, I gotta start writing this down so i don't have to keep saying it over and over again by going to start how to keep typing this event viewer <laughs> Um, logs system and go to the time of the crash to see what error caused it. Ignore the unexpected error create alerts. Um, CPU minus one error. You could, if you are outside of the RMA window, disable some of the CPU cores to see if that fixes the issue. Or, a reset of the BIOS. Um, yeah, so it, it, it seems that he may have an error on his CPU. So uh, if it's a CPU fault, then you can go about it a couple different ways. You can try to um, basically wipe the BIOS or reset the BIOS. That probably isn't gonna fix this issue because it really seems like he has a CPU issue, but you can also dis disable some of your cores depending on which processor it is. So, so you may be able to fix the issue temporarily by killing some of your cores. So it's, it's worth it to try if you're outside of RMA window and you want the processor to still work, um, you can try that. But Mysterious Archer, man, I hope that helps. Um, but yeah, it, this, this doesn't look good. It's, it looks more like a CPU fault, bro.